Hello, and welcome to MCTN, your CCP PIC. First up, we've got the Church of Almighty God. The group started in 1991 China by an experienced cultist, Zhao Weichen. After striking out on a couple other cultish ventures, he met Yao Ziangbin, a schizophrenic woman who had just failed the Gaokao, or the Chinese National Entrance Exam. Already suffering from delusions of grandeur, Zhao convinced her that she was the next coming of Christ. He immediately closed her and her identity off to the rest of the world only allowing five top female devotees to meet her, giving her a somewhat artificial, esoteric existence, shielded by mystery and wonder. Jesus had returned as a Chinese woman, and just like that, the two were off to the races. Their group, who also goes by Eastern Lightning, Church of the True God, Church of the Everlasting Fountain, or simply Real God, boasts between 100,000 and 4 million followers, depending on sources. The name Eastern Lightning alludes to the Gospel of Matthew 24:27, For as the lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. The staunchly anti-government group believes that the Red Dragon, mentioned in Revelations 12.3, refers to the communist government. And behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his head. Controversy for the group began in 1998, when, over the course of twelve days, in the province of Henan, when they assaulted and robbed members of the community with victims' limbs being broken and ears cut off. The following year, the Chinese government started to crack down on the country's cults. They banned 14 groups that the government claimed used religion to carry out illegal activities or deify their leaders to confuse or deceive the public or disturb the social order. Immediately following the new law, the police busted into the cult's headquarters in central China's Henan province. Church leader Zhao and his dingbat wife Messiah Yang fled to the U.S. in September 2000, shortly after the seizure. Since the departure of their founder and Messiah, the group has only run into more trouble. The Chinese government has committed several raids and arrests of members in order to put a stop to their aggressive and predatory recruitment practices, including kidnapping or assaulting those who won't convert. In 2012, amongst the hype of the Mayan prophecies, the group was busy convincing anybody that they could that the end was near, and at least one person was convinced. Min Yong Jung, who stabbed an elderly woman and 23 students at a school in Henan, said he was motivated by the Eastern Lightning members' propagation of these prophecies. And when December 2012 actually came around, the cult staged over 40 anti-government riots throughout China believing the Mayan revelations meant the end of the world and the coming of a new age that would sweep their female Christ into power. Nearly a thousand members would be taken into custody during this period, with almost half of them coming from a single riot. And after their apocalypse stood them up on prom night, their recruiting methods only became more aggressive. Methods that would grow to become deadly on May 28th, 2014 under the golden arches of a Chowyat Sandon McDonald's. On that evening, a woman named Wu Shu Yang 
was in the restaurant with her young son waiting to order when death walked through the door. Shang Li Dong, 55, accompanied by daughter Shang Fan, 29, and four younger family members entered and gave their religious spiel. When they were finished, they began going around to the McDonald's patrons and demanding phone numbers to use in church recruiting. They were armed with mops as makeshift melee weapons, which was enough to get most to give up their digits. Wu Shu Yen was the first to value her privacy. For this offense, Shang Li Dong declared her a demon, raised his mop, and began beating the woman without remorse. Li Dong's family joined in in stomping the woman, including a 12-year-old boy, as Li Dong warned bystanders not to intervene. For several minutes, the group bludgeoned the woman as cell phones rolled and people ran in fear. Police arrived on the scene and arrested everyone involved. Zhang Li Dong and his daughter Zhang Fan would be put to death in 2014, while the rest received lesser sentences. Meanwhile, back in the United States, their messiah and the head of their church have been living in a luxury villa in New York and running a massive propaganda campaign online. Their YouTube channels are numerous, and their production value is pretty high, creating full-length films that frame the group as a helpless victim of an oppressive regime. They then take this media and dub it in as many languages as they can, copying and pasting the videos ad nauseum onto page after page. Hundreds of fake Facebook accounts push their propaganda to as many people as they can, doing their best to impersonate an innocent group marginalized by the Chinese government. And they're doing all of this while remotely controlling their membership in mainland China from abroad. Our next news story, a recent event, may have been connected to our first story. An incident captured on camera on May 6, 2021 in Sanya Hainan shows a woman dancing on a thin ledge of a balcony before falling to her death. Dressed in all red, 41-year-old Shi Mao Mao performed the same routine for several days and was going viral on TikTok and Bravado. Concerned residents nearby called and prompted security to go check on her. Curiously, the door was answered by a man who claimed that everything was fine and they were just making a video. Just a couple minutes after security left though, a cell phone video captures the woman falling 25 stories to her death. When police arrived on the scene, the man who had answered the door and vouched for the woman was gone. Left behind was a typed suicide note, signed by Shi Mao Mao. The man in the hotel room has not been identified, and none of the video shot from inside of the room has surfaced. There are rumors that the event was a ritual sacrifice by the Church of Almighty God, but as for now, these rumors are unsubstantiated. And that will conclude your MCTN presentation tonight. Taiwan, we coming for that ass. Thank you. If you want to see some more international crime, let me know in the comments below. 
If this is your kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell if you want notifications every time one of these videos drops. I love my patrons number one long time. Buckethead, Tang, Shane Stangy, Jacob Cruz, Low Quality Music Productions, Holy Spirit, Sebastian and Catherine. Thank you and good night. Manic out.